y'all, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome to my channel. I am so excited about the month of June. I'm gonna crouch down here because I feel like I'm weird standing up. Um, I'm so excited about this month because it is the month of movement. We are taking exercise completely out of the equation and we are simply moving our bodies to feel better, to think better. And just cause like movement is awesome. Like why not move our bodies? So today I have a very special guest, a super awesome friend of mine, Daniela, who is a personal trainer in Toronto. I'm gonna let her introduce herself. Hi guys, my name is Daniela. Uh, I go by Daniela Fit Plus on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, I am a body positive plus size trainer in a plus size body. Um, and my whole philosophy is finding the joy in movement and really rejecting toxic diet and fitness culture. So really just finding what you love, what moves you and just embracing that and forgetting all the other BS that typically comes with fitness and movement. Um, and I'm so excited to be here with Carrie today because I mean, she's awesome. If you've been here a second, you know it. Um, and yeah, we're going to have some fun today. We're going to have some fun and make sure we laugh together because that is what movement is all about. Our bodies all move in different ways and it's okay to laugh at it or it's okay to not love every the way your body moves in every single shape but you know what we can do in those moments we can laugh and laughter is the key to happiness it creates it's contagious it, it just creates a joy within you that you'll feel within you and i promise at the end of this you're gonna have such an amazing mindset and like positive attitude so let's get to it <laughs> okay, awesome guys. We're going to start by just warming up our body, getting grounded in and feeling all the good feelings. So let's start. We're just going to roll one shoulder back at a time. Whew. Yeah, maybe get those hips going a little bit too, waking up the body. So I'm bending one knee, swaying the hips, getting the shoulders going. Yeah, let's go the other way. We're going to roll the shoulders forward. Oh, like I'm a worm. I see in here. Like, <laughs> yeah, a little bit of a worm. Just a slinky, snaky action. Okay, we're gonna ground in through one foot, and then we're just gonna slowly rock the foot front and back. So we're just gonna release some goodness in our hip. Yeah. For balance. Yeah, this is kind of shaky, balancey sort of stuff. So if you need to grab a table or furniture or another human or a pet or whoever's around, <laughs> you can absolutely do that. You can also hug in, hold your tummy or your chest. Awesome. Let's switch up to the other side. <laughs> a little weeble wobble. Just makes us a little bit uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, it's like your cartoon. Just push. Go for it. And yeah, if you want to start kicking that leg even higher, just really releasing that hip. Whew. I feel like I'm on a skateboard right now. This is really skateboard training. This is what, this is my secret, secret mission. <laughs> yeah, skateboarding. Just kidding, I would break every bone in my body if I tried skateboarding. <laughs> okay, we're gonna hold it steady. We're gonna take our feet nice and wide. We're gonna warm up. So we're just going for a nice little spinal twist. Yeah. So you can stay high with these legs. Yeah, absolutely. Just like you're a kid in the park, just letting it all go. Oh, so good. Now, if you want to activate your legs, you can always come down a little bit and turn those leg muscles on. Or you can always stay high if your legs are like, not today, Carrie, not today. What if I want to do both? Yeah, get high, get low. <laughs> For three, two, one. Okay. Let's stand up nice and tall. We're going to just let our, get our necks and shoulders up. So let's gently take it to one side and the other. You're just, you're just going through a gentle no. Like you're just rejecting the patriarchy and racist BS and misogyny, all those things. Just a heck no from side to side. You add part awesome. for the extra no. Absolutely. Go for the emphasis. Beautiful. Okay, now let's go. Let's start nodding to all the things that we want to invite 
into our live. So Cash tuck money. the chin into your chest. Cash money. Yeah. Yes, abundance, <laughs> love, snacks after we're done. Yeah. <laughs> Give me the star. Yeah, awesome. For three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna take our arms out to the side. So let's give up our hands a little twist. So find that twist. Oh, you should feel all the way through your forearms up into your shoulders. And then we're gonna twist all the way back. Oh, look at that yeah. definition in these bat wings here. I'm loving it. I know, that. right? I always like to, I like to literally flex a little bit for my, my classes. I'm like, look, there's cuts. There's a little bit of defo. I love it. <laughs> awesome. For three, two, one. Okay, now let's also get our ankles. We can't forget those little, little actual support structures. So we're gonna roll them out. You can keep your foot on the ground if you want to test your balance. Come on up. Maybe you a combination of both. She failed hard. <laughs> <laughs> also, I need to mention, if you have any injury, a sprained ankle in your past, and you feel like this is a challenge, don't worry about it, because that is very normal to feel imbalanced and any past previous traumas that we still carry with us, it's all normal. Oh, okay, and then just shake it all out. If you're wobbling everywhere, you're doing it right? Yes. <laughs> awesome. Okay, Whew. I'm already sweating, but it's really humid here today, so maybe that's what it is. But we should feel a little bit warm and loosey-goosey. <sighs> so, we're gonna start with like the quote unquote workout. So we're gonna start with some jacks. So if we're familiar with jacks, jacks, you can take it out low impact. You can work here. Still real good, lot of work. Okay, we're gonna start, here we go. Take it away. Woohoo! All right. So jacks don't have to be boring. They don't have to be monotonous. If you want to take the jump out, you want to make it like a dance move. Hup, hup. Yeah. <laughs> Carrie's going all in. She's doing the jumping. Bless your heart, Carrie. I clap when I do my jumping jacks because then it changes <laughs> fun. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, I love when things clap. Yes. You hear your own round of applause. Woo! For five, four, three, two, one. Okay. You can rest it here. Catch your breath. Dig deep. If at any point we need water breaks, we need extra breaks, go ahead and take them because it's your workout. It's your time to work your body. So we're going to get some single leg squats. So again, if you need to hold something for support, we're going to be at, uh, getting a little bit of balance happening. So I'm going to take one foot up and yeah, get the chair and I'm going to be bending my supporting leg. So it can be just a micro, like just right there. It can also be a super deep little some something. Whew! I guarantee this is spicy. Even if you're going for just that micro bend, we're gonna feel it, okay? And if at any point you need a rest, you need to shake out your legs and reset, it is absolutely encouraged and allowed. Whew! Yes, how's that spice factor, Carrie? Yeah, just trying to breathe through this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're almost there. We have 10 more seconds on my if you need a break or if you are done with this one, you can take your break. For three, two, one. Okay. I, that's my count done. <laughs> if you want to keep going, you can. If you were done a while ago, beautiful. We're going to switch around to the other side. All right. Other leg. Collect that breath. Let's take it away. Whew. Yes. Now, Carrie's getting theatrical with her arms. 
Beautiful. Hey, you go. Oof, who is she? Oof. She is feeling good. She, she got a good night's sleep. She had a good breakfast. She put some lipstick on.
the Soka Dance Hall Winen, <laughs> which is always a good, good workout. If you want to start getting creative with your arms, maybe add a little bit of this. Oh my gosh, sweat is dripping off my nose. <laughs> oh, so good. Look at Carrie go. Stuck it to the back chambers. Ooh. <laughs> yes, awesome. That was our 40 seconds. We can hold it here. Okay, we can shake it all off. I need a drink of water. I will invite you all to take a little water break with me. You can take a water break whenever you feel it's necessary, but I will also be stopping for water breaks. We will also not judge you if your water is actually vodka. Right? Maybe you have a two liter bottle too. That's also acts as a weight. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to go, let's move on. Okay, so we're going to get into a tricep extension. So we're going to do body weight. If you have any sort of weight or resistance band, you can also add this in, but body weight also works really well. So we're going to take our hands overhead. We're going to tuck our elbows in. So right there, we want to almost wear our biceps as earmuffs. Yes. So still hugging in the abdominals, tucking the pelvis. We're gonna extend and down. Extend and down. And the trick is to keep those elbows tucked in because they're gonna to wanna to fly open. Keep them tucked. Yes. Now, as an added bonus, if you wanted to introduce a single leg balance, a little stork pose, <laughs> you can absolutely do that. Look at that sexy stork. Dang, Carrie. <laughs> Whew. Okay, just gonna clean off my nose with the sweat that's tickling my nose. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's just hot and humid here today. It's overcast, but it's like 30 plus humidity. So it's a lot. For three, here, so of course it's hot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo. Okay, you can rest here. You can let your shoulders kind of go if that was intense. Little dance move, that's not part of it, but it can also, I will always encourage a dance break. It's never even a question for me. <laughs> In fact, do we need a dance break? A little shake everything out, just a little quick little reset. Yeah. Blast your favorite tunes. <laughs> Woo! Look at you go, girl! Let's get a little shaking going. <laughs> okay. Whew. We're reset. We're going to get into some deadlifts. So, these are actually more of a good And, uh, it's a good morning. So we're doing weights. If you have weights, you're familiar with deadlifts, you can absolutely use this opportunity. So we're going to plant in our right foot into the ground. Our left foot is going to be coming up, and our chest is going to be dropping low as we come down here. And then squeeze this butt cheek to come up again. Yeah, so we're working with a lot of balance here. If you need to use something for support, you absolutely can. Awesome. So these are slow and meticulous. Question. So, how is it that I can do these no problem on a BOSU wall, but as soon as I get into like all ground, I cannot balance towards it? I think that means you're more used to an anti gravity sort of like space like adventure. And, um, you know, I think you're just, you're out of this world, is basically what I, my conclusion is. I'm <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Just so you know what's happening. You're, you are you are from another planet. That's how special you are. I'm awesome. Not. Yes. Tell Scott that, okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so right. I've already written him a, a strongly worded email. 
Awesome. The thing is with this one is that if you're feeling your balance leg shake quite a bit, that's really normal. But I want you to think about um, almost gripping the floor with your toes, either through your shoe or if you are barefoot. And really thinking about anchoring the edges of your foot. Let's go for one more. And we can rest here. Ha! Oh, Lordy! Yeah, give us a little, little clap. <laughs> okay, we're gonna switch around to the other side and see if there's imbalances. See if, the, if you're still as wobbly on this side. And uh, if you are, that's something that we can make note of and we can work on. <sighs> All right, gather your breath. Here we go. Drop it down and squeeze up. Yeah. And as we're down here in this position, Think about really growing long. So that foot out the back is really growing long. And if you're feeling, if you're feeling bold, you can try to reach those hands forward. And then squeeze to come up. Woo! She's flying. She's flying. Beauty. You got this. Oh. <laughs> Okay, and you can rest. 
Shake it out, shake it out. Yeah, sometimes a little slap is what's needed. <laughs> okay, let's switch over to the other side. So we're grounding the supporting foot in, taking the other foot, pointing the toe, growing tall, and let's take it away. Yeah, if you want to like, just do like that. Which way is the beat? Just, well, that's a little bit of coordination for my brain, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, still can't do that. That's not happening for me. <laughs> Ooh, look at you. You are, like, like I said earlier, my suspicions are now confirmed. You are out of this world. Raise the roof. Yeah. Raise the roof. You can also huh, pat the roof. Yep. Woo! For three, two, one. Okay. Another shake out. Ah, oh, that was good. I, I might need some more water. I'm gonna take a water break. Join me if you need to. Yeah, shake it. Oh. Okay. Hey guys, you know, you? you guys are doing good. I am sweating. If you are sweating, it is normal. It is beautiful. It will revitalize your soul. It's um, my tagline is actually "Sweat is therapeutic." Yeah. I like it. Literally makes my skin clear. So, <laughs> so you know, never, never shy away from the sweating a bit. Yes, you may have to wash your hair more often, but you know, worth it. <laughs> okay. So we're going to get back into activating the back part of our leg. So similar to what we just did, this time we're going to be pulsing the foot back. Great. So if you want to have support in the front, you can also, yeah, there you go. You can also lean down a little bit further to make this a bit more challenging. And we're going to pulse this back leg here. Yeah. Yeah. Pointed toes. Now, you can touch down every single time, or you can go for a little pulse. Pulsing right there, a smaller range of motion, maybe just like a six inch variance up and down. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, starting to feel that activation. And what I like to do sometimes is actually put my hand on the muscle that I'm activating, just to remind myself of the physical power that I'm creating. You just want me to touch my hands, and I'm okay with that. Yeah, I mean, I would, I would touch yours if I could. Hold it here. <laughs> That's our time. Okay, let's switch it over. I mean, if distance weren't an issue, if social distancing weren't an issue, if you know, sexual harassment wasn't an issue, I would definitely be all over touching Carrie's butt. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Okay. Still concentrating, thinking about holding those abdominals nice and strong. We're always building some strong abdominals. And it is not about building your abs or any of those like aesthetic sort of muscles. It's about building functional muscles. So our abdominals, our whole core helps to keep our posture nice and strong, helps to keep us upright helps us when we're sitting long hours, especially during isolation, lockdown, etc. <sighs> Hold it here. Yeah. So we're always thinking about turning these muscles on. Now, these are, they're under here, under the belly, but they are strong and they are useful. Okay. We still feeling good? I feel great. This is awesome. Okay. Awesome. So we're going to get into a little bit of some standing abdominal stuff. Okay. So we're going to take our nice wide stance, toes pointed out. So you can stay high or we can get down low and we're going to up, drop to one side. So we're aiming the elbow towards the knee. We're activating these side oblique muscles. Yeah. Now notice Carrie is straight up on the up and down. She's not leaning forward. She's keeping a nice straight posture. 
Really getting into the, the obliques. Yeah, nice carry, nice job. Okay, take a moment, 
We're going to collectively cool down, do some stretches while our bodies are still warm. So let's reach up, grow nice and tall. Oh, find the length in your body. And we're going to slowly fold it forward from your hips. Beautiful. So wherever you're at, if you're touching the floor, if you're only reaching for the floor, your hands are on your knees or your thighs, drop your head and just take a couple of breaths into this forward fold. Awesome. Let's inhale. We're going to slowly start to bring it up one vertebra at a time. Open up those shoulders. Yes. Okay, let us, since we are in lockdown, some of us, we're going to give ourselves a nice hug. If you haven't had a hug in a while, or if you're missing hugging someone, we're going to take our hips. Nice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you just got a hug from Carrie Kim. Holy moly. Okay, now, now that I have to like fangirl myself just to calm down, we're going to take a nice wide hug. We're going to grab our opposite shoulders and we're going to tuck our pelvis under. We're going to round our shoulders, tuck our chin into the chest. So you almost want to create like a, a, a C curve in your spine. All right. Take a nice deep breath and exhale. One more. And exhale. Okay, you can release those arms. You can open up the pelvis. We're going to expand our chests. Have the arms wide, chin up to the sky. Now we're kind of emerging from this cocoon. And heart center first. We're waiting for the universe to bestow all the gifts on us that are coming our way. So drop those shoulders. Open up the heart. Almost like if you're old enough to remember the Care Bears, it's like you're shooting out light and love from that heart center, just like a Care Bear. Yeah, <laughs> from your belly button, just let it all come through. <laughs> okay, let's just go for some figure eights on our hips. We're just gonna roll those out. So just bending one knee at a time. This can also be sexy. If you're, if there's someone around who you're like, we're cooling down here, that's the signal. <laughs> awesome. Okay, now we can get into a little bit of a quad stretch. So you can grab your heel. If this is a challenge for you, and this is a challenge on one side because I have a hip injury, you can grab a stretch strap, a towel, a belt, anything that kind of extends your reach. You can put it around your ankle and your foot, and you can hold it. So notice that there's not a big range of motion, but it kind of expands. So as long as you can take this uh, strap or this prop as long as you need it. If you need a super long belt, a super long towel, you are really getting into the squat, this big muscle here. So the other thing, once you're in this position to keep in mind, is this knee, you want to feel it pulling down and you want this hip to be pressing forward. All right, so that's how we're going to get an extra little stretch on this quad here. Beautiful. Take a deep breath and release that. Awesome. We're going to try it on the other side. So same thing, you can grab your heel or getting your prop ready. So this doesn't have to be a tight, like you don't have to get the heel into your butt. You can keep it wherever, <laughs> or you can stumble with your, with your balance. We need to get you a BOSU ball to try this on. <laughs> you just want a BOSU ball, not even kidding. Yeah. So notice that it's not about getting that full range of motion, that heel to that butt. As long as you are feeling it through the front of your thigh, that big quad muscle, that's the sweet spot. So pull the knee down, press the hip forward. Beautiful. Okay. Ooh. Untangle yourself from the strap. 
And I always like to take a little moment of reflection while I'm cooling down, a little meditation. And I'm just gonna sweep up, find the length. We're gonna go through a few of these. Sweep up. And while we're here, I will just remind you of your power, of the time that you've taken to watch this video, to move your body, to honor yourself. Movement is a form of care. So are boundaries and compassion. So if there's something today that you didn't feel like you nailed, that is a-okay. You can always try again if it serves you. All right, we're gonna finish off with just some gentle side to side. Again, like we're a kid in the park, just learning about gravity. Maybe lift that back heel, go for an even bigger twist. Whew, let your hair swing. Beautiful. For three, two, one. And then you can just take off floating on the air. <laughs> <Woo. laughs> oh, how are we doing? I, I sure as heck am a sweaty Betty. No doubt about that. One thing I want to say is even if you just watch the video, that is one step closer to you moving. You know, that is one step closer to you becoming your best self. You chose to take it, watch it, and now next time maybe you'll do it or maybe you'll watch it again just to make sure that all the movements are movements that you can do and like really get down those modifications if that's something that you need. If this wasn't enough, do it again. There's no harm in replaying this video. That is what YouTube is all about. You can do it as many times as you want. But make sure that if this is your first time moving, take it slow because you don't want to be sore. That is not the end goal of this. The end goal of this is just building stronger muscles. And so tomorrow, if you feel great, do it again and start to build from that. I want to thank you guys all for tuning in and requesting this because it's something that I feel like I'm a little bit insecure about to be completely transparent. And that's why I have a professional because I just kind of like do my own workouts. And so this is a great way to incorporate that movement with someone who knows the most about movement and has learned about movement. So if you have any questions at all, make sure that you hit Daniela up on Instagram at Daniela Fit, right? Daniela Fit Plus. Yep, Daniela with one L, Daniela Fit Plus. I'll, she's linked in the bio. We'll, we'll get that all done. Um, but thank you so much for tuning in and tuning on. And I'll be back. Maybe Danielle will be back. I don't know. But uh, I'll be back with another movement video very soon. I hope you guys have an amazing day. I freaking love you. And I love you, Daniela. Thank you so much. You're the best. Love you, Carrie. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time.